Hey, this is a tutorial on running CryEngine and setting up a new level uh, for the 197.134 paper in the computer lab. If you want to run it on your own computer, check out the blog and I'll have another tutorial on uh, how to set that up and where to find it. Uh, so in the lab, if you go down to the start menu and then under all programs, there will be a, a folder called CryEngine. Uh, Crytek CryEngine, I haven't got it in here um, at the moment, um, but I've created a shortcut uh, for it. Uh, and it will take a second to load, uh, and uh, I'll come back in a second. What you uh, will see is a login window, so you have to be online um, when using this program. Uh, and you'll need to create an account. So there's a little button hat down here called create an account. So click on that uh, and you will be taken to uh, this uh, page here. Um, I'll just move that out of the way. Uh, uh, move that there. Uh, and scroll down to the bottom of that and then click agree and create an account you'll be sent an email you, which you'll have to open and uh, just confirm that that's the correct email and once you've done that uh, you'll be able to log in so uh, I've already created an account so I can just log in and again it'll take a second to load up so So this is what you um, uh, are given when you start. What I'm going to do is create a new project. So we go up to File, New, and it will ask you what resolution. So we're just going to uh, keep it at uh, that size and uh, with uh, one meter. So that's a kilometer by a kilometer uh, size. So that should be um, bigger. If you want to go bigger, just be aware that it will take more processing power and you may run into uh, problems. So to start with, that'll be fine. So for our level, we're going to call it 134 underscore your last name uh, underscore 01 as a first uh, option. So then we go OK. And it will come up uh, with how you want to identify the project. And this is to do with how we share it. So I've got a project set up, but I want to you all to do it under global share and that means that we can uh, all uh, access everyone's files if we need to. So you go OK and this creates a um, level for us uh, which once it comes through we have a whole lot of water um, uh, down on the bottom uh, there. So if I have a look around uh, you can see the water Ooh down the bottom. Uh, for this project uh, only use water if you want to so I'm going to turn it off. So to do that we go up to terrain, edit terrain and then there's uh, modify remove water and then that'll get rid of the water so we'll just close that. So Here's our level. Um, I took a second to find it. Uh, to move to find it, I used the W A S D key. So W moves forward, um, and at the moment it's set quite fast. So you can see I move in and out. So down the bottom we can slow. So if I go to one now, we've got a lot slower. Uh, so that was set to ten. So one's a lot slower to move around. Uh, and then I use the right uh, mouse key to pan around the space while I'm in the editor uh, and then the W key I'm moving forward and the A key uh, left, D key right and SD key back. Uh, so to start off with you want to come down quite close to the ground uh, and then hit Control G and that puts us into play mode. Ignore the gun for now but we um, will turn that off later and now I can use the W key and just the mouse to pan around uh, and you can see uh, the time of day is changing uh, we can set that later as well uh, but now we've got a level to jump in and out of um, and we can add some other stuff uh, later and escape to get out and we're back into the editor 
um, but that's got us a game so if we go file save and uh, click global share and we've saved it so the next tutorial I'll go through how to bring a model in from SketchUp